Hey guys, what's up? Mike Gross here, RockingGuitarLessons.com. That's Taylor Swift with Mean. And this was actually a request from one of my subscribers, Matt MMD123. So bust out your acoustic and let's do this. I went, uh, you know, usually I go to studio versions. Like, in other words, stuff off the album when they actually went in and recorded it. Um, on this one, I went for something live. But I know in studio there's either a capo or something going on on the first fret but uh this is off of a live concert i don't remember which concert but this is probably the the key that it was used all the time in concert so i'm going to show you the very first part which i think is the verse and intro there's a little tiny in between part we're skipping and then i'm going to show you the chorus so um i like these chords because i like chords that utilize some of the same notes when it switches to the next chord this is a prime example the high e kind of and the b the open B, almost the open B all the way through, not this first chord, stay through all these. 4A, 6D, 6G, 5B. So C sharp minor, but we have this open high E in it. So go down, down, up, down, up. Now when you do your first down, don't hit all five strings. Um, we're not playing the low E at all. Just emphasize on string five and four if you hit three, so what? But don't hit all five. The rest you'll hit all of them. Down, then move it two frets flat to 2A, 4D, 4G, open B, open E. Same exact thing with your strum hand. And then the next one, basically it's doing this two frets flat again, but you probably won't want to use those fingers. You probably want to use your index on 2D, middle finger on 2G. And this one, you're going to do the same thing, but do it two times. So it's... And then that's just going to repeat. So we have... There. Sometimes you guys are like, I can't see you. So I'm going to come to you. There's the first one. Oops, try it again. Second one. And the third one. And it does that one again. Okay, so... Um, and then the chorus, when the chorus kicks in... Um, you're going to go E major, so it's 2A, 2D, 1G. And you're going to do the same strum, but two times through, just like we did on the last chord, the A2. Same concept, but we're involving um, all six strings on this chord. So it's... So it's down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Did I explain that in the first part? I don't think I did. You're probably like, what the heck, dude? You showed me everything but how to strum it. But that's the strum for all of it. Then, so I went twice through on that, then we're going to go to uh, the second chord that we used in the intro verse section, and that's 2A, 4D, 4G, open B, open E. And do this two times through. If you can, these are little tricks. Take that first finger, tuck it up underneath the low E to mute it, because you're going to accidentally hit it, I'm telling you. So, twice through. Then the very first chord that we started, with on this lesson, go to that one, the C sharp minor. 4A, 6D, 6G, 5B, open E. Two times through, remember to kind of mute that low E with the tip of your first finger. And then we move to the third chord that we used in the intro verse, which was the A2. It's 2D, two, 2G, two two open B, open E, and an open A as well. So with your thumb, try to mute that low E. And twice through, unless you can hit it with... If you hit the low E, it's actually not going to sound bad in this one, but I don't encourage you to... You know what I mean? So, same thing two times through. Okay, so that's a good chunk of the song. Taylor Swift with Mean. If you have any questions, I won't be mean. I'll answer them for you. Leave them in the comment section. I'd be glad to clear it up. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Once you do that, send me your favorite songs that you've wanted to know all these years. But um, didn't know which way, which one to choose because there was 50 versions of it. I'm giving you the band's version, the way they're playing it. And it's not to knock versions that are easy beginner versions or whatever. Nothing wrong with that because we're all at different levels. This is just how I do it at Rock and Guitar Lessons. Give you the actual way. And I do my research. I check, you know, make sure the tuning's right. And <coughs> it's freezing out here. Man, I need a heater. And, um, you know, I'll look for hand placement 
you know, if I need to, all that stuff. Um, if you want to do some personalized lessons, though, we, we, you can work on exactly what you want to work on. Hit me up for the Skype lessons. I have a tutorial on my channel. Look it up. Uh, but it's a, seriously, it is a great way to personalize your learning because you get to show me where you're at. And some of you will be like, I don't even know where to go. I will know. I just need to kind of see and hear where you're at. It'll take me about 15, 20 seconds. But um, so far, the, my students that were doing the lessons on Skype kind of have an idea of what they want to work on. We're working on, um, you know, technique and, you know, cleaning up songs that you already have and seeing if we can... Because one of the problems people have a lot is changing from one chord to the next fast enough. And if you're one of those people, join the group because we've all been there. But don't get discouraged with it, you know, it's something you will overcome. And then um, another cool thing, if you're interested, is we have the Ultimate Beginner's Guide. I have the Ultimate Beginner's Guide DVD. It's two hours of lessons. It's my first DVD. It has uh, uh, Matt Wood doing some of the stuff on there as well. If you're interested in that, it's $20 plus shipping or for the digital download, it's just $20. Bucks. Um, but hit me up at rockinguitarlessons at hotmail.com. I'm Mike Gross. Watch my website, rockinguitarlessons.com. I told you it's coming in 2012. Let's find out if I stuck my foot in my mouth again. Don't know, it's not because I... I'm trying to scare you like it's not coming. It is. It is. Got some uh, some good news worked out today on it. So, Alright guys, appreciate you. Spread the word. Spread my videos. Peace out. Don't be mean. Don't. It's not nice. It's not nice! No!